We're back with episode 57 of Road to 99 overall in NBA 2K11, my career, where we start as a 35 and work our way up to 99. 50 games completed. We are currently riding a 10-game winning streak after our win against the 76ers. You clogged the toilet for the third time this week. Yo, Roger Mason needs to chill, man, but... Still 57 overall, we're about to start game 51. Objectives for the game. Commit no more than three fouls. That's a lock. We won't be swiping. We won't be jumping. Less than three fouls. Force your matchup to commit three or more fouls. Playing the Clippers, we're running straight into Baron Davis and we're getting a foul in the paint. Call that a lock. And finish the game with a teammate grade of A plus or better. On this win streak, we haven't been below an A plus. That's a guarantee. Call it a lock. Now walking into the arena, AP is feeling the pressure. We're riding a 10 game win streak and it may not feel like it, but there is a lot on the line. We need these wins to overtake the Miami Heat in the Eastern Conference. We want home court advantage going to the playoffs. We want to be the number one seed. We want the best record in the NBA. You can see the sweat trickling down that man's face. Look at it. Get that man a towel so he can degrease himself. But we're past that. It's game time. Stats of the season. 23.4 points per game. 5.8 rebounds. 3.6 assists. 48% from the field. 78% from the line. 39% from three. Three point percentage is on its way up. It was at 38 last game. Now it's at 39. We're moving on up. Tip off begins. We lose it. If you don't remember earlier this season, we check in right off the rip. Baron Davis hits up. Welcome to the league, little bro. The most disrespectful thing I've ever seen in my life. Baron Davis made us look like a little man on the court but not today we block him it's subtle but it gets the job done then on the other side of the court we cross over to the right pull up at the midi in his face goes in that's a tough watch for baron davis fans but now we hit clean as a bookie down the court he goes into the paint lays it in that's an assist now we have the ball a little doo doo go to the right midi pull up that goes in it's the day of the midi we hit clean as a bookie again he fades away this man has been on a tear i'd say he's playing like prime paul george He's been that incredible. Now, Raymond Felton. They traded this man for a bag of chips. Backing me down. We block him, too. And now we're gone on the break. Stop at the three. It's actually a two. Goes in. AP is the best two-way player in the league. It's not even up for debate. How this man is not nominated for an all-star is blasphemous. Because we pull up at the midi, and that goes in as well. And that's how we end the half. Down by three. Ten-game win streak on the line. Baron Davis with eight points, one rebound, three assists, and a steal. But AP with eight points, three rebounds, two assists, two blocks. We are filling the stat sheet and they're only showing you the things they want to show you you can't even see the other stats most boogers picked not from your nose 14 in the first quarter start of the third we're sizing up our defender we go to the left little wrap around pull up at the midi front rim back rim hits the roof hits the ceiling it's the popcorn vendor goes in then we cross over left go into the paint call that a basket and then some because that's an end one free throw goes in but now we have the ball can't get around this little guy baron davis but then we do pull up midi that goes in time is running out in the quarter Brent into our spot look bad but get out the way fade away goes in right at the buzzer takes us into the fourth quarter we're down by five 10 game win streak is on the line now we're dribbling pull it back baron davis is on us we lay it in easily right over his head top now we have the ball again sizing up our defender pump fake Jason Thompson, he lays it in. That's another assist. Cross over to the right. Pull up at the three. That goes in. Then things get bad. Open three. Missed. Shimmy into the paint. Bad shot. Missed. Run it into the paint. Little man on us. Miss. I get the ball in the corner. This is a case of... Too little, too late, because that takes us to the end of the game, where we finish with 24 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, and we dominate our matchup. A-plus teammate grade, one of three objectives, but we lose. 10-game win streak is no more. 1,270 skill points. That takes us into the press conference, where they're probably going to gaslight us. How big of an impact do the fans have on any given game? And how do you feel about your team's fans? How do the fans impact the game? We're a big fan of the fans. They like when we cook, we like when they cook, we like when they're in tropical places, they like when we're in tropical places. Wherever we go, we have fans, and that's why we're fighting for the best record in the league. We just lost our 10-game winning streak. I'm disgusted. No more questions. That takes us out of the game. 1,363 skill points that we are going to spend right now. We upgrade our shot three-pointer to a 68, and now we're passing to a 73, and we are still a 57. But a quick look at how dominant we have been. We had two losses in the month of January. 
two losses. This team is a 69 overall, 36 and 16 record. We're never losing again, but at least we have the rookie and sophomore game coming up and potentially the all-star game, but we don't know what is going to happen yet. And that loss keeps us second in the East. You hate to see it, but if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, make sure you comment AP for MVP in the comments. And if you're not following, make sure you follow because if you're not following, you're not going to see the videos as soon as they're up. And if you're not seeing them as soon as they're up, that means you're late. And if you're late, that means you're not early. And if you're not early, that means you're late. And if you're late, well, then you're weird. Don't be weird. Just follow. Thank you.